Hi and hello again. My name is Dominique. Thank you for clicking on my video. This is going to be my update for Pando's eyeshadows for the November month. Um, I didn't do as great as I did the time before. I feel like last month I was like, oh yeah, I am a freaking rock star. And while I did well, like it's not what it was last month. So I'm just going to go down the line of, I do have my little notebook here. I'm going to go down the line of the eyeshadows in the order I had them in. And then we'll talk about if, if anything is rolling out, bring some new stuff in. And then I do have like an extra bonuses portion, but all of it is from the project level up that I'm also doing. If you want to go look, cause I am doing good on that one. <laughs> okay. So my first one was this Reina Rebelde Presumida palette. And I did roll in the shade Chula. Chula is a really pretty orange color. It was perfect for the October, November months. So last month I had 14 uses on it. And after six more uses, I got this baby little pan. Can you see it? Also, just a heads up, I am recording in my dining room. And my son, he's two. He's literally like I can see him. He's in the living room. So I hope he stays chilling watching Moana. And if not, well, that's mom life i guess my second one was this lime crime this was my this is gonna be my kryptonite because it's december now um the first and i just don't feel like pulling for blues but i have this cornflower blue so last month i had used it three times i use it another four times so seven in total and literally you can see some disturbance but it's gonna be here, my best friend, for a while. And then we rolled in the Mr. Jeffrey Stars. Um, this is the cremated palette, so it's all like gray tones. And I had only used this palette once or twice prior to this project. I did roll in Inheritance. Spoiler, I did not hit pan. I used this six times. Now I did, I have hit pan on a couple Jeffree Star shadows and I've actually used one completely up before. So I know the kind of work that I'm gonna have to put into this shade and it's just not an everyday shade for me. Um, like with that being said, I we did have the flu hit our house. So there was a good week, week and a half that we were just trying to get by, surviving the times. Um, but yeah, six times. And with those other Jeffree Star palettes that I did hit pan in, I looked back at my notes and it took like 40 times of use to hit a pan. And that was in like a blue color. So it was like a wild color too. So I don't know. I'm not thinking I'm even going to get a dent until I hit like the 30 mark. This one, on the other hand, the balm, the balm and the beautiful. This is a lovely little palette that I got from Ipsy. I really like it. Um, I got the shade Autograph. This is my only shimmer in the palette. So you'll be able to tell, maybe, there is quite a dip there in Autograph. There is quite a dip, but I've learned with this shadow, you, it's best used with a finger. So with a glitter glue and then a finger going over it is the best way to use it. And in my time in China pan eyeshadows, you get more results from using a brush. So this one also is gonna be in for a while. I've also been using it as a highlight. Every day when I do my makeup, I use this as a highlight. I don't know if I said this yet, but I've used this shade 22 times. So this is like all after 22 times. This one here in Chick Flick, I thought for sure I was gonna hit pan in this one cause it's like, there's a huge crater in that shade. But in my Project Level Up, my Level 4 palette has two colors that I can blend to get this color. And that's what I've been using as my like priming color. So it's kind of hit the back burner, but I feel like this should be with a shiny little pan next month. Fingers crossed. I'm throwing it out there in the universe. But yes, yeah, still sticking around. Autograph by The Balm. And then my last, I only pull five, is another Jeffree Star shade. So this is the Orgy palette, and literally last month you like saw me take the plastic off, like out of it. Like it still had that little plastic sheet to like cover them. I had never 
touch this palette. And spoiler, I did not hit pan. I rolled in the shade Invitation Only. It's right here. I do have, I don't know if you can tell, but I do have like a little dip going on in there. And I've also been using this one right here. Cunnilingus? I guess. I don't even know how to say that. I've been using this one with it. And I have really been enjoying it. And I have been using it every day. I literally have it in my crease and like an outer as like an outer color um today that's how i've been using it most days i've been going back and forth between this and then that gray color and i i like it um it's just gonna take a long time like i said 40 uses for that blue i'm sure it's probably gonna be about that for this one too and then i've used this one 16 times so he's staying too so that means i only get to roll in one new shade which is kind of sad but hey, I'll take it. I do, like I said, have some bonus shades and they come from my project level up. So in my level up palette, I did pull in the Naked Cherry that my husband got me for Valentine's Day years ago. And this was my level two. So I did hit both of those pans. You'll see right here in Bang Bang, there's a little pan. And then over here in Young Love, there's also a little pan. These two I already had pans in. So now I have four pans in total in this um, palette, which is really exciting. I really like this palette. Um, it's great for this time of the year too. So loved that. And then for my level three palette, I rolled in this Pure Festival palette, which is one of my favorite summer palettes. I already had a pan in this Good Vibes shade. And then to complete my, my three pans, I'm sure you can see them. It's this color here, Psychedelic. This one here, Gypsy. And then I used this one all night as like a brow shade. And then these two shades here are glitter shades. And I used them on my eyes. I know, I know. And I hit like a, like a surprise pan here. So I did hit a pan here in the Firework shade. These glitters are more of like the Super Shock um formula so they're very malleable so i'm sure if i like rolled my finger in there again it might cover up the pan but hey it's showing now so we're counting it so that gives me i have six six pans all together which is good i just wish i was rolling more out of this group but i'm not so uh we're gonna do the fun part now I do have my little handy dandy notebook and I'm doing my pan those eyeshadows in like a no palette left behind format. So I'm pulling in only um, palettes that do not have pan yet in hopes to all have pans in all of my palettes, like show them all love. So I do have a list here. I need to mark off this Presumida palette. I haven't done it yet. But anyways, so I have one through, oh, I got a new palette, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So in my Ipsy this month, I did receive the new Alamar Cosmetics um, palette. This is called Destino, so like Destiny, I believe. It's really pretty. I just added it to my list, so it is eligible. So this is what it looks like. And then it's kind of cool. It has like a lock and unlock to open it. I'm just afraid I'm going to forget to unlock it and just go willy-nilly and open it. And it's going to break. But, yes, brand new. Okay, yeah. still, has the little, still has the little sheet on it. Beautiful colors. I'd be happy to have any of these colors, too. So we'll see if that one gets rolled in, you know, this month. That'd be kind of cool. So now we're going to ask our friend A-L-E-X-A -E to please roll in a palette and then we will go grab that palette together and we will get the, the shade for this month together. Alexa, random number between 1 and 23. So I don't know if you heard that but it said 6. So number 6, I don't know if you can see it, it says Ulta, the, ex, the um, Epcot palette my sister got me this for christmas i think last year um let me go grab it this one should be good okay so this is the ulta beauty and disney collab 
with the Epcot palette. So it comes in this little box. Like I said, my sister got it for me for Christmas last year. It comes with a palette and then also a lip gloss that I haven't used because, I don't know, I'm crazy. This lip gloss is in, oh, it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a color. But this is the color. It's really pretty. I may use that as well. It's kind of got glitters in it. Can you see that? It's got glitters running through it. But the palette, it's a little palette and I am familiar with the um, Ulta Beauty formulation. Here it is. I don't like that the, the shades are on this little sheet. So I kind of have to keep the sheet to know what the shades are. I haven't even taken it off yet. I have a problem. This is my intervention. So I have all the little, the names here. And there are one, two, three, four, plus eight is 12, right? 12. So I'm gonna ask ALEXA one more time to pick me a random number between one and 12. And that will be the, the shade we're working on this month. Alexa, random number between one and 12. Here's a number between one and 12, it's four. Four, so we're just gonna go across one, two, three, four. So this is kind of like a glittery shade. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Yeah, it's pretty. And these, sh oh, it's actually pretty nice. These are like butter, like that was really nice. So I don't know if you can see it trying to focus on me instead of the, but it's a pretty gold. It is kind of similar to that um, shade I already have. And it's in the color Test Track. It is kind of similar to the shade that I am working on in that um, the Balm Cosmetics palette but you know we're gonna work with it so let me swatch these all so you can see what I'm working with this month it's gonna be kind of similar I mean we're taking out that orange but like the vibe is gonna be the same so this blue you do have to build up there's that blue color and then here's that one that I'm saying is kind of similar maybe I should draw another color if they're too similar, oh no, it's it's a lot more icy. You see, it's a lot more like icy where the Ulta one is more of a bronze. This is more like of a champagne, so it'll be fine. And then I have Inheritance. My two dark ones. And I have Invitation Only. So it's pretty, pretty cohesive. I'm happy with it. I'm excited to pull in that Epcot little palette my sister got me. Like I said, I've literally had it for, my birthday's in a couple of weeks. So it's literally been a year. This is the first time I'm touching it. But yeah, I'm really excited. I did decide that I am gonna use this little lip gloss to give it a test, see what I think of it. Um, I wonder if these glitters are like the kinds that you can feel. Uh, we'll talk about it next month. But yeah, so wish me luck. Let me know what you think. What would you do with this color story? I feel like it's pretty cohesive. We can do it. But yeah, I'll see you guys next month. Please wish me luck. I hope you guys are all doing well. Happy holidays if you celebrate. Happy winter if you don't. We will see you later. Bye, guys.